My names are Ruth Njeri Njeraine. We came here in 1980 with my family so that we can be able to develop this farm. We have been growing bitungu, maize, beans, and all this. We were doing them just like an ordinary person. So one day, somebody came here and told us, can you be able to go organically? I asked him, what is organically now? He told us, you grow food, without using fertilizers, without using a lot of chemicals, then we thought of listening to him. I'm Charles Macharia. I'm a farmer who is converting from conventional agriculture to organic agriculture. The soil is number one resource to every farmer, whether conventional or organic. So how you nurture your soils how you make them productive is actually very key. If your soils are not healthy, you cannot actually throw them away. You work onto the soils. Like in our field here, because I have dead soils here, you can see that I have dug some trenches. You dig and reach to the subsoil. And from there, now you start placing food that can nourish or rebuild your soil. Of course, this one requires time and patience, but you have to use the best materials to bring life back to your soils. You have to integrate materials that originate from living organisms, both plants and animals. We started with the, we dug the shamba. We came with the lime, we put it, we stayed for three weeks, and the sun was shining very well. Now we took the nini, the manure. We put there and water and we planted our maize. When it was planted, let me tell you, some of the maize, they had six, although they did not grow out of them. <laughs> they grew two or three <laughs> and they were big. We were very happy. So we said, this is the, 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 the type of the work we are going to do now. After some time, you find the materials have decomposed. So what do you do? You go to the area where you had piled the soil, excavate again, push that topsoil to cover the trench, and then you also fill it with uh, healthy materials, that is the old crop residues from healthy plants, and those that can release nutrients to the soil, and also the compost manure. And gradually, you are going to distribute that kind of richness and rich nourishment to your soil. Even you can see the bananas. You, do you know there is fertilizer for bananas? We have not used it. Even the maize you have seen there, we have not uh, used the fertilizer. We have not used any other chemical. We are using the, ma the manure we make. Goat, yangombe, uh, nayakuku. We are happy because you, we are eating our own food, which has no chemicals. 